beautifully. Keep it going. Remember, you're surrounded on all sides by a thick, chilling fog of, of an early morning ocean. No sights of land. No rescue ship in the distance. You have nothing to eat for six days, and now you've been without water for the past three days. Nice. Nice. And don't forget, you're dehydrated on the verge of starvation, crammed together so, so tightly that your, your bodies have become human pincushions. All hope is beginning to fade. You're starting to hallucinate, have visions as your life unfolds in front of you. And then thoughts of your own impending death is becoming a moment to moment reality. Shelly, a little more moan. She Shelly? She yes. Perfect. That's it. Beautiful. I love you guys. Okay, scene. I've always been a good girl, though I've kissed a boy too. I saved myself from marriage, like any good girl would do. But now that I'm dying, all alone at sea, I only wish that Tommy Bates had been my number three. This whole thing is a crock of shit. I wanted adventure, but this ain't it. And it ain't death that scares me none. It's loss of life before I'm done. Dear Juan, my husband, I will miss you most. I close my eyes and I hold you close. But do not cry, my love, for I will meet you again in the outer you room. Asshole, I told you not to put your hands on me! If yes, you touch me again, I swear, I'm gonna break your fucking face! I told you it's my character that's touching you, Janet, not me! You're such a moron. Who are you calling a moron, you moron? You're such an amateur, you know that, Janet? Yes, and you're a freaking pervert, so... Okay, okay, that's enough, knock it off. Okay, everybody take a ten minute break. Janet and Aaron, stay. Why don't you two lovers get a motel room and leave the rest of us some peace? Right. And please be sure not to invite us to the abortion. <laughs> hey, um, while you're on your break, why don't you two lesbo bimbos dye your hair so the carpets match the drapes? Janet, please. I'm losing it here. Nobody cares about carpets or drapes or whatever. We're opening tomorrow night. I quit. Good for you. I can't take it anymore. If Janet and Aaron mess this up one more time for us, I'm gonna freaking lose my mind. And they do it all the time. <laughs> We've been practicing that one little scene for two whole months. And we have never gone through it without them saying something. I mean, who gives a shit if he touches your leg? You know, you're an actress. Things are gonna be thrown at you. You have to take it. Exactly. And like, when I'm in the raft i'm so concentrated if someone touched my leg i probably wouldn't even notice yeah and, and then, that's what i hate when you're concentrated and someone has to kill it for you and it's hard to get into that yeah. concentration and then they mess it up again and again and again all the time they don't even care about anyone else but themselves that's what pisses me exactly. off too like they don't understand that when they break up a scene it affects everybody yeah. they don't even care they don't get what acting really is they don't put the work in it like like valerie and shelly you think they care about acting and what it's really about? No, no, like, I have no idea why they come here and how they got cast in this play. <laughs> all they care about is fame and all that bullshit. And it's really difficult for us to look at them after we work so hard yeah. and then them just take it, like, not seriously at all. And the play is tomorrow. Tomorrow. And we're still, we can't get that one first scene. Unbelievable. I don't need... You're beautiful, you know that? You're beautiful too.
so we're on North Beautiful. Yep. Yep. I am so sick of these stupid rehearsals. Like, bring on the audience already. Exactly. <sighs> on film, all you have to do is step in front of the camera, the director yells action, you act, and then cut. And then... Lunch. <laughs> exactly! And of course you have to leave time out to sign autographs. Keep the fans happy. Fans are so important to me. I'm not going to be one of those stuck-up actors who don't sign autographs. Same here. I practice my handwriting every night before bed. <laughs> Best wishes, Shelly Swanson. <laughs> May God bless, Valerie Thompson. God bless? You can't use God in an autograph. Why not? What if they're atheists or something? I never thought of that. You have to think of something different. People like Tarantino and that guy who directed Village of the Damned are not going to hire someone they think is a right-winged Christian. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. What? Is that a pimple? Where? Here. I don't see anything. Look! You don't see that? I see it. A little red bump. It's nothing. It's tiny. That's how they all start out. Tiny! Then they turn into a freaking volcano! Just put some makeup on it. No one will see it. I've got a ton of face shit on my back. You don't understand. My character will know it's there. My character does not get pimples. Oh my god. What about the opening night party? Do not do the Shelly panic thing, okay? All you have to do at the party is stay close to the walls, and when you're talking to someone, just keep that side of your face always pointing away from them. And concern for your character, just do the same thing. Valerie, you're a genius. No need for superlatives. You owe me. Anything. Stay away from Dante. He's hot meat, and he's all mine. Hey, Johnny? It's me, Maria. Please pick up if you're there. Johnny, please. Where are you? I have called you all day, and why haven't you- Go away, little girl. I said go away! Largate, niñita! Shit. Hi, Johnny. It's me, Maria, again. Why haven't you been returning my calls? I need to talk to you. Last night at the party was a mistake. Me and Frankie is nothing. I mean, he just he had too many beers, and you know how Frankie gets when he has too many beers. I mean, when I came out of the bathroom, he he just he, he grabbed me and kissed me, and I mean, he didn't even know who he was kissing. He he, he didn't even know it was me. It could it could have been Sarah or or, or Janice or, or Emily. I. He was just so drunk. He, he just wanted to kiss any girl. So please forgive him. I mean, he's your best friend, Johnny. Please, please call me back. I mean, we open the show tomorrow night and I can't focus or, or eat or nothing. I, I love you, Johnny. Okay? So please, please call me back. Hi, Frankie. It's me, Maria. So, who wants to start? He keeps grabbing my leg. I told him 20 times already not to do that. It's part of my character, Janet. He's reaching out, trying to find a last touch of reality and a final moment of warmth before he jumps overboard and becomes shark bait. Then grab the friggin' shark's leg! You know what, Janet? You're freaking lame. I'll tell you what's lame, Johnny Depp. You're freaking acting. Screw you. You wish. I'd rather take my chances with the shark. Hello? We're opening a show tomorrow night. Hello? Are there any actors around here? Good. Now, how are we going to resolve this? Aaron, 
Do you have to grab Jenna's leg? No problem. It can be a metaphor for my character's last attempt to grasp the meaning of an existentialist life lived surrounded by a mortal mass of cold and indifferent humanity. You're such a smart ass. Thank you. Coming from the original cold and immortal mass of indifferent humanity, I take that as a compliment. Look, I don't care if he touches me, but does he have to grab my leg so hard and so high up? Well, how about it, Aaron? Fine. I'll grab her ankle and I'll squeeze it ever so lightly. She'll never know I was there. Janet? Fine. Problem solved then. Good. Now, face each other. Hug? Come on. The hug exercise. Face each other. Come on, we're all in the same boat, or in this case, the same rap. Hug? Come on. Yes, get close. Come on. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, you can do better than that. Let's see a big old actor's hug of love. Yes. Make it real. Stay with it. Stay honest. Now, I love you. I love you. I love you too. No, but I mean it. I mean, I really love love you. <laughs> what? From the first moment that we were put together on this raft in the middle of the ocean, destitute and hopeless, from the first moment I felt the warmth of your breath upon my cheek, I knew that I could die happy man as long as love was the last thing I remembered and your face was the last thing I saw. I... Love you.